hello everyone so given an array what you have to do you have to find the minimum and the maximum value in an array in an example we will consider that arrays of size 5 and the values are 4 1 7 10 and 8 so if this is an array can you tell me what is the minimum and what is the maximum okay can I say that minimum value is 1 and the maximum value is 10. Now try to think about the solution. How can you solve this particular problem statement? One of the solution is sort the array. If you sort the array, can I say that array will look something like this 1, 4, 7, 8 and 10. Now the first element would be the minimum and the last element would be the maximum and it is one of the way now in order to sort the array in java we can simply use arrays.sort of course you will code out of course you will code down the solution but as of now just try to understand the logic and try to understand in how many ways we can solve the particular problem statement so I can simply call arrays.sort and I can pass array. It will sort it and after sorting your minimum value will be array of 0. Consider that arrays of length n. So maximum value will be stored at array of n minus 1 right in the last index. Now let's say that interviewer doesn't want you to sort the array or he doesn't want that you should use the inbuilt library so we'll think about the second solution in the second solution what we will do we won't use inbuilt library okay i hope it's clear so far we won't use an inbuilt library in order to solve the particular problem statement can i say that if i want to find the min and max and store it somewhere I should have two variables does it logically make sense that if I want to find in min and max I need two variables to store the result correct the first variable is min the second variable is max now what should be the initial value of min and what should be the initial value of max we'll try to figure it out but in general in general when you're declaring an integer data type you initialize the value to zero can I say that by default you initialize the value to 0 correct now let's try to write down the logic and think whether initializing with min equal to 0 and max equal to 0 will work or not so we'll switch to the eclipse and we will look into the code so I have taken the same input which you have discussed in the whiteboard so for this particular problem statement answer is 1 and 10 right now the first solution which we discussed it was pretty straightforward i can simply sort the array if i sort the array if i sort the array zeroth index will store the minimum so can i say that min equal to array of zero and max equal to array of n minus one considering that the size of an array is five in the current example the size of an array is five right now you can simply print the minimum and the maximum value so you can see that we are getting the results 1 and 10 make sense now let's try to solve the same problem statement without using the inbuilt library so what we decided that in order to store the results I need the min and max let's initialize min equal to 0 and max equal to 0 now what you will do in order to find the result you will iterate in the array you will iterate in the array as soon as you will find something which is lesser than the min you will update min as soon as you will find something which is greater than the max you will update max right so i less than 0 i less than n and i plus plus so what we are trying to do it over here we are iterating over an array and we will check if 
array of i if it is lesser than the min i'll update the min and if i find something which is greater than the max i'll update the max i hope you are clear with the logic and at the end i'll simply display min and the max now as per you what should be the output after simply print min and the max right min max any cases the intuition says that the answer would be 1 and the 10 let's run the program and see we are getting 0 and 10 why let's try to understand let's try to understand we've initialized min equal to 0 yes or no what is the initial value of min min is equal to 0 now now if min is equal to 0 can i say that i will start with 0 and it will goes till 4 0 1 2 3 4 right because length is 5 and the last index would be 4 now what is the value of area of i area of i will be having the value 4 1 7 10 and 8 so initially i is 0 you're trying to get the value of area of i area of i is having the value 4 4 is it lesser than min min is initialized to 0 right so is 4 lesser than the min which is 0 no right condition is false you won't update the min similarly similarly in the next iteration i is 1 and value of area of i is also 1 1 lesser than the 0 condition again false i value is 2 2 lesser than 0 condition again false similarly 3 lesser than 0 uh, not 2 it would be 7 right 7 lesser than 0 condition again false 10 lesser than 0 condition again false i is 4 area of i is having the value 8 8 lesser than 0 condition again false does it logically make sense that min is never updated because all the values in an array are greater than the zero so min is never updated min is never updated that's why you're getting the wrong result does it make sense so can i say that can i say that definitely whatever the minimum is it is definitely one of the element of an array so instead of initializing min equal to zero initialize something which is present in the array right can you simply initialize with the first value if you can simply initialize with the first value it will be array of zero right now if i do so if i do so let's try to run the code am i getting the correct result one and ten so min is fixed now do i have to do the same thing for the max or max equal to zero will work think about it and always when you're trying to check whether the particular initialization is correct or not try to verify it with the random examples of an array for example one of the scenario would be all the elements are negative if all the elements are negative can you tell me can you tell me will max will be updated will max will ever be updated because max is initialized to zero and can i say that all the values of area of i all the values of area of i are lesser than the max all are negative value and max is zero so your max will never be updated if your max is never is updated can i say that can i say that it will give me the wrong result which is nothing but zero correct and can i say that the minimum value is minus one minimum value is minus one right so what should i do i should initialize my max equal to array of zero same thing the way i fixed minimum in the same way i will fix the maximum right so thanks for watching this video that's all about finding the minimum and the maximum value of an array of course these hard code inputs are not required you can use the scanner to read the input dynamically Okay.